All right, so today we were gonna write this on page 41, which is on the left side. And the name title is Flip Notes on Density. There is only one vocabulary word for today, and that is, we're gonna put a V for vocabulary, and it is density, of course. Density's definition is how much mass is in a certain space. In other words, it is how much mass is in a volume, which sounds confusing because those are the two parts that defines what matter is. So density is not just mass, it's not just volume or space, but it's kind of um, the ratio of both of them together. Um, but why is density important? Well, I want you to write this. This is not a vocabulary, just like a fact. So something with a higher density will sink in a lower density. I want you guys to underline higher density, sink, and lower density. Okay, and I'm gonna draw a picture, I'm showing this. So if you guys didn't draw the picture for the other times, I need you guys to draw the picture as best as you can. Even if it might not be, don't look the best, it's still very, very important that you guys draw this. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a cup with two liquids. You guys might have seen this before in real life. If you ever try Italian dressing, there's oil and water or vinegar in Italian dressing, but the oil usually makes a layer on top and uh, the water or vinegar will go on the bottom. So you have to, uh, every time you gotta use the dressing, you gotta shake up the bottle. And that's because compared to the water, the oil has a lower density and water has a higher density. And because of that, the oil is always gonna flow on the water. You can mix it up by shaking it, but after a while, it's gonna uh, separate again with the oil goes back on top. And that's pretty much all the notes on density, but there is uh, one other small part in physical property I want you guys to write down, which is physical property, properties, stay the same. no matter how much you have of it. So physical properties that we um, kind of talked about, uh, from the reading, there were color, smell, um, from um, our observation of the crystals, there was solubility and uh, color, and uh, shininess. So these things stay the same no matter how much, no matter how much you have of it. And I'm gonna draw some examples. I'm gonna draw two examples actually. So if I had an orange, actually let me see if I have an orange color. Okay, let's say I have an orange that's really small, an orange that's really big. I'm gonna draw a leaf on there. So these two oranges, the small and big orange, are both orange colored. And they will taste kind of similar, they will taste like an orange still. I know that some oranges are different, but just because um, their sizes are different doesn't mean that it is a completely different thing. So the physical property of color and smell will be the same. And one more example I'm gonna draw is a pot of water. So I'm gonna have a small pot of water. Yes, it's beautiful. And a really big pot of water. I should have changed color, but 
It's okay. So the water that's inside, let's make it boiling right now. So the water is um, turning into steam, turning into a gas. I'm going to write small and big pot of water boils at the same temperature. Or 100 degrees Celsius. So that means the water. So they won't boil at the same time because there's more water in the big um, pot. That means it's going to take a lot longer for this to um, boil, and it'll be a lot quicker to boil the small pot of water. But when they do boil, if you measure the temperature of the water, it'll be the same 100 degrees Celsius. So the boiling boiling point for the water, the temperature at which it boils, that's the physical property, and it stays the same no matter how much you have of something. So the um, same um, as this, density and solubility are also physical properties, and they all stay the same no matter how much you have of something.